Praise be Jesus Christ, my dear lovers of the Word of God. Welcome to Unbin He. Today is the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. And in the Gospel, our Divine Master continues His preaching. His preaching on the Mount. This is the continuation of His preaching on the Commandments. This is about the Commandment on Love. This is so extensive that we have to go beyond from what we are used to do. Let us listen to Father Christian Gollum as he shares to us his reflection. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to the law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. We invite the Holy Spirit, our Advocate and Guide, as we meditate on the words of our Lord, especially on His call to holiness, with a particular emphasis on forgiveness, of loving one's enemy and praying for our persecutors. We invite the Holy Spirit to enlighten our hearts and mind and to give us the grace to put into practice this demanding yet realistic and grace-filled commandment when our lord said to his disciples you have heard that it was said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth and when he continues by saying, Offer no resistance to the one who is evil, we see a paradigm shift, as if a Copernican revolution, a 360 degree of change of the law of Talion. And this we see that the fruit of violence leads to revenge, to war and strife and the destruction of families, of communities, of individual lives. And we have seen the great horror of World War I and World War II, and the eminent dangers of today's political leaders and powers asserting their own territory, their own ideology, and their own promise of peace and progress paradigm shift in our Lord is giving the law and the commandment the capacity and the grace to do so. 
in the Old Testament, the measure of love, of charity and forgiveness becomes the person himself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But in the mystery of the incarnate word, our faith focused on the person and the teaching of Jesus, the measure of forgiveness, the measure of charity becomes Christ himself. We love and we forgive those people in the measure that God has forgiven us, that God has loved us. Our Lord continues by saying, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy in the old paradigm. But he teaches us, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Again, we see in the person of Jesus this sublime demand of the law. We might ask, would it be humanly possible to forgive from the heart? Would this commandment be a real challenge and a real obstacle in our spiritual growth? Brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord giving us the commandment gives us also the grace to really forgive our enemies and persecutors humanly impossible. The fruit of ignorance and the fruit of original sin demands revenge, demands retaliation, but only in God's grace, in the example of our Lord, and in the mystery of the Holy Spirit in fonde amorim cortibus, a change of heart, only in this perspective can we really forgive and love our enemies. Our Lord has given us this grace, and He has given us this holy example in His own suffering and death. Our Lord has saved humanity and all his persecutors in the Good Friday, and he was hanging on the cross, praying for his persecutors, as he cried out, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. The beauty of this commandment, brothers and sisters, is God has given us his own example, that our sanctification and redemption must be focused on the mystery and the glory and the power of the cross in which Christ draws all things, all human hearts, both the good and the evil, into a perfect communion and obedience to the will of the Father. And throughout the centuries, the early Christian church, the great saints like Saint Stephen, in the early persecutions against the Christians, these words of our Lord to love one's enemies and to pray for our persecutors have indeed resounded and has indeed characterized and distinguished the unique path of the Christian way. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray for the Holy Spirit, for all of us, who have experienced crisis and doubts, have experienced conflicts in our families, in the married life, in our neighbors, in our working place. We allow the Holy Spirit, we allow the paraclete and the advocate, as I have said, in the Pentecost and in the baptism, Christ, has poured his own disposition, his own perspective, and his own virtue in our hearts. In fonde amorem cordibus. In the end, we are not in this world. We are of this world, but we are not in this world. Meaning, our goal here on earth as a pilgrim who passes by, is to faithfully follow our Lord, 
And that is why our Lord invites us, Be perfect as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Let us pray for our enemies. Let us forgive them from the heart. And I would like to end with this prayer of Mother Teresa. The fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. And the fruit of faith is love. And the fruit of love is service. And the fruit of service is peace. May St. Francis of Assisi, his effort to love all men and women in the love of Christ, may the peace of St. Francis of Assisi resound and be felt in our hearts. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Christian, for reminding us that following the commandments is doing the duty of our call to holiness. It really needs love and fidelity to God, discipline, and much effort to forgive. With love, our hearts in flame. As Father Christian said, in funde amorem cordibus. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters in faith. Thank you for your trust as we continue to share with you God's message of salvation. And may the Word of God grow in our minds, in our will, and in our hearts. God bless you. In response to the love of God, who has called me to follow more closely, Christ the Master, way and truth and life, among the daughters of St. Paul.
has called me to follow more closely Christ the, the Master, way and truth and life, among the daughters of St. Paul. I, in full freedom, renew the offering of myself to the Father, having been consecrated by Him in Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. I recommit myself to live in communion with my sisters, and to be faithful to the charism of the Founder, dedicating myself in the Church to evangelization with a means of social communication.